In this video, we will look at two different types of rotary valves and how to integrate them into your setup. For either type, we must remove the caps to connect PTFE tubing to the ports. The rear of the valve has a can and two pin outlet which will need to power it on. These two connectors end in a four pin adapter which we can plug into the pressure controller. To control the rotary valve, we'll first need to verify its connection. This also serves as the simple control menu. For selection valve, this menu also lets us choose which port is connected to the center. For switching valve, we instead can choose between two modes connecting neighboring ports. The scripting menu lets us write more complex behaviors. For example, the switching valve can alternate between different modes at different steps in a script. A selection valve, meanwhile, can alternate between active ports. In either case, steps for either valve may also close all ports, though the valve must still be turned on to do so.